Good morning, afternoon for some of you. How do I get this thing to work, man? Good to see some of you here. You know, I was testing this earlier. I'm actually a little nervous today. Can you believe that? Never used this uh, new capability of Facebook Live. And I sat here and I tested it, and now it's not doing what I wanted it to do earlier. I did all this prep for you guys. Let's see if I can figure it out. It's not there. I got some, I actually prepared a little bit today versus just, you know, going, going off the cuff, if you will. And the preparation I have on this other screen, and I don't know how to share that screen now. Jason Green, can you come in here real quick? Because I really want you guys to see this. It's really important that you see it because I think it'll it will help with with the demonstration, right? They always say, what do they say? Uh, Pictures worth a thousand words or something. Man, I can't see it. What I'm trying to do is I want to share with you because today's title is "Why You Should Own a Slave." And why our government encourages it. Think about that. How controversial is that, right? Why you should own a slave and why our government encourages it. Jason, real quick, when I was in here, I hit the share button because it shared the screen. I could go back and forth, but now I can't get into that. Do you, can I not share the screen after I'm going live? No, doesn't matter there. I tested it. I wonder, maybe I can't do both. Maybe I can only do one or the other. Anybody know? Anybody watching right now? Know if I can share the screen after I go live on the video? Yeah, it was showing, it was letting me do it. So anyway, I guess uh, I, I actually scanned all this stuff in, spent a little bit of time researching or, or preparing. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way. And that is I will hold up the pages for you. So let me get those real quick. I tried. I tried, but I guess I didn't quite prepare enough. So I will just do it the old-fashioned way. Cool. Okay, thank you very much. So someone says, no, you got to select one or the other. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's why people use Zoom. I actually tried to use Zoom today, but I couldn't figure that out in this short amount of time because I put myself on a crunch, on a deadline. But let's get started with this. Why you should own a slave and why our government encourages it. Now, I'm going to read, since I can't share the screen with you, I'm going to read the dictionary definition of a slave. A slave is a person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. How do you like that? A slave is a person who is the legal property of another and is a force and is forced to obey them. Now as you can see right over here over my left shoulder I have a Spartan's helmet, and that reminds me of the, the Romans. The Romans were the greatest community and the greatest government of all times that were the best at getting slaves. They would come in, conquer your territory, conquer your civilization, right? And that you had a choice. Either you became a part of the Roman Empire as a slave, go into the military, or they killed you. That was it. That was your choice. And some people would say, well, I would never be a slave to someone else, and I would choose death. Well, if you've never been faced with it, I doubt it. I doubt if you were offered that, death or slavery, you would pick slavery every single time. Now, Slavery pretty much went out of business, if you will, uh, shortly after the death of Christ with the Romans. You know, they were the greatest civilization to create, or not to create slavery, 
but to use slavery to grow their empire. And yet on the other side, they were the civilization that pretty much ended slavery throughout the world, with exception to the English who brought it back. But for the most part, that kind of slavery is done. Now, there's still some, some types of slavery out there that's not good, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about slavery that our government encourages, slavery that each and every one of you need to participate in. And let me go into what that is. I'm talking about a corporation. I'm talking about you need to own your own business. I'm not saying to quit your W-2 job. That's important. But if you want to eliminate the biggest expense that we have in our life, otherwise known as taxes, you need to have your own slave. I personally own seven slaves. And they work for me 24-7, 365. They never get a day off. I don't feed them very well. I kind of do in a way. But they work 24-7, seven days a week. They never get vacation. They never get sick time. They are there working nonstop. They're my slaves, seven of them. And I will have more as I progress in life and I get more successful. I will have more slaves. But right now I have seven. Let me tell you what the legal definition of corporation is, a dictionary definition. It says, a company or group of people, and I'm reading it from this screen over here that I wanted to share with you guys so you can actually see my my pictures that I uploaded. But a company or group of people authorized to act as a single entity, in parentheses, a legal person, and recognized as such in law. The definition of a corporation is a company or group of people authorized to act as a single entity, a legal person, and recognized as such in law. So the definition of slave is a person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. So when you own that corporation, You essentially own a slave, and the government recognizes your corporation as a legal person that has a life expectancy of 100 years. Did you know that? That when you incorporate your business and you file those articles of incorporation, that an articles of incorporation is basically your birth certificate. And the birth certificate and that legal person has a life expectancy of 100 years unless you renew it. Just like you and I, we have a life expectancy somewhere around 85 to 100 years. And it gets better every year with technology. So when I say that you need to own a slave and our government encourages it, that's what I'm talking about. Corporations, LLCs. Because when you own corporations and LLCs, you can legally pay less in income taxes. You can legally buy things that W-2 employees can't buy without paying sales tax. Let me rephrase that. You, if you own an LLC, you can legally not pay sales tax on things that you buy. I'm getting ready to buy something. I actually bought it. I just don't have it yet, so I want to share that when I get it. But I saved almost $15,000 because I spent $150 creating an LLC. And that saved me over $15,000 in sales tax because I understand the law. And the government rewards me for owning that new slave. Now, this new slave is, as of yesterday, two weeks old. That's it just two weeks old, and I want to share something with you. In two weeks, I've successfully obtained $260,000 in new company credit, corporate credit. In two weeks, $260,000, over a quarter of a million dollars, I've I've gotten with a company that's less than two weeks old. Well, now 
today it's two weeks and two days. So it's technically 16 days old. And I got over a quarter million dollars of new credit for a company that's brand new. So that's what I want to share with you is how you can use your company, your slave to pay less in income taxes and to increase your personal credit score. So here's one. This is from U.S. Bank. I haven't even activated it yet. I got it yesterday in the mail. Let's see if you can see that. Put a little sticky on there, but you can see it says Fortress Inc. All right, there's one card. It's a $12,000 card. Here's another one. This is Delta American Express. I just got it. You can see. This one, uh, $30,000 credit limit. All of these, by the way, came with uh, 0% for the first 12 to 18 months. Here's another one. I got this one in my wife's name because she's an officer of this new company, which is DYD LLC. All right, divorceyourdebt.com is the website. It's not up and running yet, but I, did, I do own the domain name. You will hear about that. And then here's another one. This one I actually got through Fortress. So I got another $30,000 card for Fortress, right? And the, the U.S. Bank one I showed you is for Fortress as well. The, the other two golds were uh, Divorce Your Debt LLC. Here it is. And I'm going to share what I, I'm doing right now with Fortress. And then here is my new uh, Wells Fargo Visa card for DYD. Just got it. That one's got a 12000 Nope. That one's got a $3,000 credit limit. Not much, but it's a brand new company, right? The other ones, American Express, come with 30000 and then I got a line of credit for 152000 One of the advantages of owning your own slave and having corporate credit is it can save your personal credit. And I got this today in the mail. It says, Rhonda, your FICO credit score is 780 as of March 27, 2018. 780. That's not bad. Anything over 740 is considered excellent. So I'm at 780. But I want to show you how my credit score changes. And this is 100%, 100% due to the way that I'm using my credit cards. Now, as you may know or may, may not know, last year, I got knocked down pretty hard. I lost my merchant account. I wasn't able to bill our customers, our clients for almost five months. Now, how, how could I stay in business, right? Well, I have a lot of cash reserves. I had a lot of lines of credit, and I lived on those lines of credit and the cash for those five months. The problem is 100% of the people who hire me don't pay their bills on time. Otherwise, they wouldn't be hiring me on the credit repair side. And so when you go five months, you fix their credit, and then five months later, you try to bill them. Guess what? You get you get, you are number one finger, right? Because they ain't paying because they haven't paid for five months. And, it, and that's what happened. I lost $2.2 million because of one dude being a jerk and committing fraud. And we will have our day in court. And I will be able to prove that I lost $2.2 million because of this scumbag. But I digress. But with me using those credit cards to keep the company rolling, you can see my credit score has fluctuated. Okay, so if you saw that, it started out at 766, went up to 804 in June, and then it dropped 765, 767. By September, the cards were kind of maxed out. Dropped down to 736. And then it went up 789, 738, back 796, so on and so forth. Make sure the person you're listening to, your credit expert, actually has good credit because the majority of them don't. I know because they hire me to fix their credit in secret. They don't want anybody to know that, but they do. Check that out. 
it fluctuates. Now, one of the other advantages of owning your own slave is the banks like it. And the banks will do things differently than when you have personal credit, such as I get these every single month. Every month I get one of these. Every month I get several of these. Zero percent, no interest until May 2019. So when did I get this one? I got this one in March. So basically 12 months, if I signed it right now, I get 12 months. 0% interest. Now, if you have a mortgage or if you have a car loan debt or a boat debt or any type of debt, I have a strategy in my coaching program called Velocity Banking where I show you how to use your credit cards to massively pay down your mortgage and your car loans, massively. I can take a 30-year mortgage not take any money, any extra money out of your pocket and cram that 30-year mortgage into a seven-year mortgage every single time, regardless of your budget, regardless of how much money you have, regardless of how much you make, regardless of your other debt, we can take your 30-year mortgage and cram it down in about seven years and save you hundreds of thousands of dollars. And people always ask, well, how much does this, your financial coaching program cost? What's well, two grand? How much is your business credit? It's two grand. And some people say that's expensive. I'm like, compared to what? Paying 200 grand in interest on a mortgage for 30 years? Or paying me $2,000 for me to teach you how to use velocity banking, use a credit card, and massively reduce your mortgage by over 70%, saving you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wouldn't you be willing to invest $2,000 to learn how to do that? How about invest $2,000 in my business credit program where I teach you how to get all these cards? $260,000 in a company less than two weeks old. Two hundred sixty grand in lines of credit, loans, and credit cards. One of the other strategies that I teach you is how to get a loan. So I have a $350,000 loan program, $350,000. If you've been in business for three years, you have a 640 or higher personal credit score, you have three years of tax returns, your cash flow positive, I can get you up to $350,000 in about 10 business days. But you might be saying, I don't need $350,000, I only need 50 or I only need 100. Here's what I would say. You can't get fire insurance when your house is on fire. You get the money when they're giving it. And then you use that money to get more money. For example, I got the 350,000 for my business. I immediately took 100 grand out. I went to a local bank that I'd never been into before. I opened a bank account and about 45 minutes later I walked out $100,000 less cuz I took it from, you know, I wrote a check and I put it in there, but I walked out with a $100,000 line of credit. And all I did was use the money. And this U.S. bank card that I showed you, okay? I'm doing the same thing with them. I went in. I took the money from the other bank. I put it in U.S. bank. And now they are coming to me asking if I want to borrow money. Maybe you don't have 100000 Start with five. But if you invested your $5,000 buying a slave because you got to buy it, right? You got to pay for it. A couple hundred bucks to buy your slave through Wyoming or Montana or Nevada or wherever. And when you do that, you can get the credit. Like I said, in two weeks on a brand new company, I brought in over $260,000 in new credit, a quarter, over a quarter million dollars on a brand new company. On Fortress, I brought in $350,000, and I did it, like I said, it was like 10 or 12 business days. It was very, very fast. So if you want to learn, you don't have to quit your day job. I don't encourage it at all. Maintain your day job. Invest with me for an extra 150 bucks. So if you want my financial coaching program, for an extra $150, we'll make it a business program, all tax deductible. 
And now you have the opportunity to sell my program to someone else and make a thousand dollar commission. Did you just hear that? You can invest in my program for twenty one fifty, turn around and sell it to someone else for two grand, and I'll pay you a thousand dollar commission. And now you're in business, your legitimate business, earning money. And the more you earn, the less you pay in taxes. Completely different than the personal realm. Did you hear what I said? The more your business makes, the less you pay in taxes. Because as you make more money, it, it, you, it allows you to qualify for other programs that people that don't make the money can't qualify. You can become what's called an accredited investor. You're able to invest prior to everybody else being able to invest in it, giving the opportunity to make more money. And the more you make, the more other things you can do, like self-insurance, self-directed IRAs, self-directed pension plans, self-directed 401ks. And you can put all that money in pre-tax or after tax and pull it out tax-free. These are all some of the advantages of owning your own slave. If you want more information on it, send me a direct message. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully today was educational and entertaining at the same time. I don't see any questions. So I don't think I have anything else to say. Have an awesome day.